Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara, whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. So I should be going to bed, but I really enjoy doing these purchase or pass slash will I buy it videos. You know, the ones that are inspired by Samantha March. We do have a few things to talk about this week. The other two times I've done it, it's like, no, no, no. and. I think mostly this week it's it's a lot of no's, but there's a few possibles. I just wanted to keep you all up to date with what's coming out because for me, the planning piece has been very helpful and not being surprised and feeling like that panic. I, I'm just not trying to do that this year. Did a lot of that last year, especially at the end of the year. So if you want to just get an idea about new makeup releases, what's coming out, what's worth it, what's definitely not, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think. Is there anything you're excited for? If makeup is your therapy and your love, but you're in makeup rehab and trying to make just some better decisions this year, definitely consider joining the community. We'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. All right, you guys, so I still pretty much look at the same Instagram accounts for the new makeup releases. And for me, it's a bit therapeutic. I like to just kind of be in the know of what's going on. It's part of the fun for me. And I like feeling the freedom now that I don't have to get it. It's if I want to, if it's in my budget, if it's something I'm really interested in, not because it's the latest and greatest or everyone's going to have it. I've let go of that and it feels really, really good. I'll link all the accounts that I follow for that I mainly look at in the description box and let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys. So the first release we're going to start with is one that I actually have and it was released today. This is the just one bite collection by notoriously morbid and i just did a video just showcasing the collection yesterday so i will link that this collection comes with several items in it but i think the two most interesting uh, items are the palettes there are highlighters there are blushes there's lip products there are uh, gel toppers it's a very cute collection and by the time this video goes up the collection will have already been released. So it released at 1 p.m. EST today on January 21st. But let me just show you these two palettes. The first one is called My Story. and looks like Sleeping Beauty. And here's what that one looks like. Each of the palettes do contain a dual chrome and a multi-chrome. And the second one is My Soul. And here's this one, it's more of like a blue theme. As I said, this collection released today and the palettes are $35 each. I just wanted to share that just because I actually had that in my hand. And I did have someone ask me really quick, does the multi-chrome in this palette compare to the multi-chrome in the Giant Wolves palette? So let's do that really fast because I have it all sitting out just in case, you know, that's something that other people were thinking about. So Giant Wolves, you know, is by none other than Sydney Grace. And let's take a look. So here we have the Notoriously Morbid shade and here's the Giant Wolves. So you can see that they're different and there are the swatches. So very beautiful, both shades. Uh, if you haven't heard of Notoriously Morbid, they are a very, very unique indie brand. I do have a code with them. If you're interested, it's Beauty in the Frizz 15 and it'll save you 15% off. But I really just, I thought that collection was really cute. And since I had it, I just wanted to share that. Getting on Instagram and I'm gonna scroll down to where we left off last week and let's see. So first we have Unearthly Cosmetics. They are doing a restock of many of their palettes with their new branding, which is awesome. If you're unfamiliar, they used to go by the name Alien Cosmetics and when they had to rebrand, that meant rebranding all of the packaging and palettes. So they did do a restock this week. So if there were any palettes that you were interested in before, you can check those out. I do have a code with them as well as Frizz Face. So if you like any of these palettes, they have some super cute palettes, really interesting color stories. So they are another one of my favorite indie brands. So Sydney Grace has revealed their Be Mine palette. 
So I think this is going to be a solid palette and it is beautiful. The problem for me is that I did log in all of my singles into my makeup spreadsheet and I have about 70 Sydney Grace singles. So at this point, I believe that I could dupe this palette with Sydney Grace singles. So I have to say no to this, but if you don't have these shades, I see this as being a beautiful everyday palette. The colors are really nice. I think you can make a variety of looks and the palettes come in both a light and a deep version. In this particular palette, I don't feel like the differences in the light and deep versions are super significant. So I would definitely go with the deep version if I were to purchase this palette, but really cute, super cute packaging. I just have to be honest with myself and say no, because it's not going to serve a purpose in my collection, given the amount of Sydney Grace singles that I have. And I love me some Sydney Grace, thus the amount of singles that I have. So, but I do think this is going to be a very nice palette. And you know, it is a Valentine's day release, but the palette doesn't scream Valentine's day to me, which is kind of cool because it's not going to be one of those palettes where you're only going to wear it a certain time of year and put it away. I mean, I, I feel like it has some fall vibes in, in this palette as well. So it's definitely going to be a good one, but I have to pass. I'm growing y'all. I'm growing. Okay. Now this one though, Tammy Tanuka. So I do have three Tammy Tanuka palettes. I have not gotten to them yet. So realistically, I probably should say no to this, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. This is the Royal Peacock palette. What can I say? Look at these beautiful eyeshadow shades. They are absolutely gorgeous. And you know, for those of us who do have lots of eyeshadows, you can get this palette in the mini size and the mini palettes are super small. Let me grab one for you because that's going to be the only thing I probably hit pan on this year. Possibly. Let me grab it. So here is the regular size palette versus the mini palette. So you can see there is a significant size difference here. Here we have the a languid toad and we also have the mini snake palette and you can see it is teeny, 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 tiny. So there it is in my hand. Now I think the mini palettes are about $18 and the regular size palette, I think runs you about $35. Now the, the problem here is going to be the shipping. I think if you get the palette sent by Russian post, it's, it might be like $8. Don't quote me on that. But if you, you know, get the expedited shipping, you are going to pay extra for that. And if you're only getting one thing, you might be paying as much for the shipping as you are for the palette. So brands like this, Tammy Tanuka, Cleona, it's like, I prefer to make a decent size order just to make that shipping cost worth it. I'm going to be honest. This palette is definitely calling to me. It has that variety of looks that you can make, but it's not overwhelming at all. I'm not going to sit up here and say, I don't have these shades, but they are really, really beautiful. And even without me trying my Tammy Tanuka palettes, this is a brand I know I could buy from without hesitation, to be honest, just because of everything that I've heard. I want to go to her page really fast because she actually has the lid swatches. Yes. So here are the lid swatches from the palette. So look at these, like, look at the shift in this shade right here. So pretty, beautiful matte here. That, that red, that burnt red is gorgeous. Another matte shade here, the blue purple and that other blue. That reminds me of blue from Pat McGrath's Decadence palette. Mm, so pretty. It's definitely something that I want to consider, but I also thought about 
a couple palettes that I own in my collection just you know wanting to compare and think like do I have these shades already the first one I thought about was the radiant reflection palette by Sydney Grace I actually just did a look with this palette and you see that we have some of these same shades I'm looking at this matte here this uh, red it's not as red it's not a burnt red We've got a purple, we've got some blues. So it's just something to think about. I know it's not exact, but I said I wanted to go through my collection and look at things before I actually decide to purchase them. And that's what I meant. So that's what I'm doing. The other palette I thought about was the Hummingbird palette. And this was the Odin's Eye and the Fancy Face collab palette. If you take a look at this palette, you see we also have some of these strong, bold colors. Now the finishes are different, but this is just what was jumping out to me as soon as I saw that palette. To be honest, it might not be enough <laughs> to convince me to not get it. The other palette I thought about was the ones also by Odin's Eye. Mm, this one's not very similar, but what stood out to me in this one was that red shade. So I was just kind of looking here, but oh, this is just another great palettes. This one's not the same at all, but my thought process is always, can you get a similar look? Because the palettes that I just showed you have amazing formulas. So it's not like it's going to be a terrible formula. So it comes down to, can you get a similar look with the palettes that you already have? It's just some ideas. And I definitely want to encourage all of us to look through our collection before we decide to press that button, especially when the shipping is, is costly, but that's really pretty. So I'm going to go back to makeup release radar. There's a lot of indie stuff this week. Now, again, I often skip brands that I've never heard of or things that just don't call to me because we just, I can't allow myself to get caught up in every single release that's out there because that would just be too much. Um, looks like some complexion products here by Rose Ink. It's a luminous skin tint. Now I'm all about the skin tints. And this reminds me of the, this is my first time looking at it. This reminds me of that Chanel Le Beige's uh, skin tint that they had with the little pigments in there. Yeah, they're like encapsulated. I'm kind of curious about this just because I have been really into that and it's not as expensive as the Chanel skin tint. This comes in 14 shades and it is $49. This is available January 23rd. I didn't mention it, so let me go back. The Tammy Tanuka palette is going to be available also on the 23rd. It's Sunday at 4 a.m. So that's definitely going to be a palette where you're going to have to set your alarm. It's 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And let me just circle back to Sydney Grace and see if there is a release date. January 26th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The other thing I wanted to say about Sydney Grace, I'm sorry I'm going out of order, but it just popped in my mind. They are restocking some of the items that were sold out on Black Friday. And I believe that those items will be sold for 25% off. So we still get the Black Friday pricing. So I know, for example, Enduring Love, which is one of my favorite Sydney Grace palettes, one of my favorite palettes, period, is going to be sold for 25% off. It's going to be restocked. So that's just something to keep in mind. All right. Now I think I've said everything I need to say. And we're going to move on. The rose ink definitely sounds interesting. Just not sure like how many more complexion products I need to buy because I just bought the Charlotte Tilbury uh, beautiful skin foundation. I have the Lisa Eldridge foundation and I'm trying to work through a couple foundations that I have that are nearing the end of its life, which I'm really excited about, but I'm really intrigued by this. Mm, yes, I am. Okay, y'all, so this next release, a lot of us have been talking about it on Instagram. It is by Shine by SD Cosmetics. Now, I have never tried this brand out before, but this is a collab with M. Jones 5018. She created the companion palette along with Copacetic Cosmetics. It was that palette that came out last year, I believe, last year? 
or maybe in 2020, it was like a dedication to her dogs. And the other collaborator is Bizarre Verolta. I think that's how you say it. So the collection is called, I think it's called So Above and So Below. I'm going to look for some other pictures. This is the first time I'm seeing the swatches of the So Below palette. But they're all like these beautiful multi-chrome shades. And each palette has six shades. So ooh, look at these swatches, you guys. Absolutely beautiful. I am going to go and find the other um, half of this collab. But it, it's, it's beautiful. You can buy these shades with the palette or without the palette. With the palette, $90 for the six shades. Without the palette, $86 for the six shades. Now this collab is gonna be available January 22nd at noon CST. I'm gonna skip around because I want to find the other palette that goes with this, just so we talk about it together. Here are the two palettes together. So, I mean, if you like these beautiful galactic multi-chrome shifty shades, I mean, you have them here and a huge congratulations to the collaborators of this because it's gorgeous here is the as above palette i said so above but it's called as above these are the swatches here nothing negative to say about either of these palettes i personally am going to pass on them it's sad to say but i'm going to pass i am trying not to purchase any eyeshadow singles right now and I have so many duochromes and multi-chromes. I can't even tell you whether or not these would dupe anything that I have. So I'm, I'm just going to say no for now. But it's, it is a truly beautiful, beautiful collection. Yes. Okay, I do realize that I skipped a couple of things. Here we have a palette releasing from Clarity Cosmetics. And it looks like this palette is called, I think it's called Bloom, the Bloom palette. This brand reminds me a bit of Give Me Glow. I've never tried them before, but I know that if they are those pressed pigments, I know I would probably love the shimmers, but the mattes, not so much. Y'all let me know if you've tried Clarity Cosmetics because I haven't. Yes, the Bloom palette. There's 10 shades, five mattes, three foils, and two duochromes. This palette is $48 and it is available on February 4th. Makeup Release Radar does have a code for 5% off. It's beautiful. It's just a color story that I don't need. Like I said, this is giving me, well, not exactly, but I have Vintage Rose and Vivid Rose by Give Me Glow. So I think between those two palettes, except for the blue, I kind of have these shades, any everything but the two blue shades. So I'm going to pass on that, but it is a really gorgeous palette. I'm really proud that I can say things look nice and, and not feel tempted. That makes me feel great. Going to Nomad Cosmetics, they are continuing to release clues for their new palette. I am really excited to see this palette. This is a palette I will be getting. It's always exciting to try to guess the destination that their palettes are based on. There are 15 shades in this palette and this palette's gonna be $39 and it's gonna be available January 25th. These are the shades that have already been released. So it looks like a very, very interesting color story. And I am really excited for this reveal, for sure. All right, let's move on. See some singles there. Got a luxury release here from Shantakai. And this is the Giraffe Eye Quartet. It is $74, y'all. But you know what? This little cute neutral color story is so cute. I can't. This is kind of reminding me of that Coffee Talk palette that Sydney Grace came out with for Black Friday. Hmm. <laughs> this last shade on the right, that shimmer, is really calling to me. They've got some uh, lip products that are coming out with it too, but this is really expensive. I purchased the Hummingbird Quad from Chantakai. I think it was in 2020, actually, it was. 
and I had gotten it for 30% off and it was $58 for those four shades. I don't even know why I got that. I was just trying to keep up with the Joneses because it wasn't even a color story that I was into. So I ended up selling it. I sold it last year, <laughs> but I do think this is really pretty. I'm going to just scroll on past. It's not something I need. I know it's not something I need. So just keep it pushing. Mm, I forgot to talk about this last week. So Glaminatrix Cosmetics is coming out with two palettes. One palette is going to be the Nocturnal palette and the other palette is going to be the Neutral palette. Look at these shades y'all. Like this is a palette that I'm probably going to put on my list. They don't have a neutral palette like in their little arsenal of palettes. And so I think this is going to be a permanent palette for them. Glaminatrix has palettes that come out from time to time, but they also have lots of singles. Every shade that I see right here is beautiful. Now this is going to have 15 shades, seven mattes, and the eight shimmers they've shown. It's going to be available in late March and early April. I'm wondering what kind of pre-order that's going to be because y'all know I said I was not trying to do pre-orders this year. Let me see if I can scroll down and see if she has the Nocturnal palette. Okay, here are the shades in the Nocturnal palette. I think it's all of them but one. They are really, really pretty. And this is a really unique color story for a palette. So this is definitely something I would consider as well. I am going to look at my singles, see maybe can I dupe this. But I definitely want the neutral one i think the neutral one would get more use so i'm thinking with this one in a mm, no never mind i was gonna say club nebula vibes but not really because i think the club nebula shimmer some of them are kind of toppery and these are going to be those beautiful shifty shades so that's something I'm going to think about, you guys, the Glaminatrix Cosmetics palettes. Well, I feel like Indy is really taking a cake this week. The Pat McGrath Bridgerton collection is restocking today. <sighs> I, I'm wondering, like, did it even sell out for real? Or were they just trying to build hype and then restock it? So that that did restock earlier today. I, just, I wouldn't recommend it, to be honest with you. For me, it looks like it's going to end up being more of a face palette for me than anything else. It looks like M Cosmetics is releasing a multi-chrome collection. I have not tried M Cosmetics. I definitely would have been interested some time ago, but I'm not doing the single shadows. But they are very, very pretty. And that's going to be available January 21st, so it's already available. Now this brand, I always hear Nikki Raven talk about V Cosmetics. It looks like they're releasing some blush singles in 10 shades. They're going to be 12, 21 each. They are available already. They look really pretty. I am going to pass on this. I feel like I'm all blushed out and I'm still waiting for my Chanel blush. But they're pretty. <sighs> Another thing I'm probably going to pass on is this Cleona bundle as much as I want to go for it. This is a bundle of three. They're $21, three shades. This is available now. So pretty. I went ham on Cleona circle shades last year. I just don't think I could justify buying three more and then paying $15 for shipping. But I think this is going to compare to some of my other Cleona singles. So I'm going to have to say no, but it is a beautiful trilogy. And last but not least on makeup release radar, we have a sneak peek from Unearthly Cosmetics. Y'all know how I feel. This is going to be their Valentine's Day launch. We got the pink packaging. It looks like some red packaging underneath. Y'all know I will be getting this. So it is coming. They just have my heart. I don't know the date. I don't know what the collection is going to entail, but I see that pink shade and I have a feeling that even though there's a pink shade there, there's going to be some surprises and some, some untraditional shades in this palette. At least that's what I'm hoping. So that was a lot to talk about today y'all for like indie stuff. I mean, we had a little luxury on there, but you know, y'all see us get past ColourPop and I honestly didn't mean to do that. These ColourPop palettes are super cute. I will say that. The middle one reminds me of Vosjoyles. 
And I'm definitely not getting that because you will not replace my child palette. But this is definitely a cute collection. But ColourPop continues to dupe themselves on a constant and consistent basis. And we will not be hoodwinked, bamboozled, and or led astray with these makeup releases. That first pink palette is so cute. But it's really kind of a neutral palette with a pop of blue. And you, know, you got a little pink there. The middle one is like the Choiled. And then the last one, it reminds me of that all matte one they came out with last year, like the sunflower one. And I'm sure they have something else that's like this. I'm certain. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. I, I can't do it. So this collection is called All the Buzz. It is available. You got lip oils. You got the three palettes. There's Super Shocks. It's just not for me. I can't. And you know what? Now that I see that a lot of my super shocks have dried out, I mean, I didn't have a lot, but I, I, I just can't do it because I don't use them enough to purchase. And that counts as an eyeshadow single, I think. So just say no. Ooh, Sonya G's restocking her uh, Niji Pro brush. I do have that. That's a great brush, but you know. You're not in the market for brushes. We're gonna move on. All right, I think we are done with Makeup Release Radar. Thank you, Makeup Release Radar, because you covered a lot for us this week. Let's move on to, let's go to Chic Profile Official. I'll try to switch up the order just to taste. Looks like we don't have much that's new some of these things like i i definitely wouldn't be getting like these hermes lipsticks they're like 74 dollars or something crazy like i can't no she's got shanta kyle in here okay but here we have this natasha denona mini crush palette that we talked about last week very cute palette but if you have the love palette you don't need this if you have the mini love palette from last year you don't need this do not get like caught up because there's a little brush in there or because the shades are a little bit different or they're not repeats they are they are they're repeats somewhere and they have different names i'm certain but we are not going to be hoodwinked no we're not i'm just saying if you have divine rose too they don't have to be exactly the same but it's close enough if you have utopian scheme like we just did not need this i'm not sure if we're running out of ideas but this is not something we need to have going on so with that being said we're going to move on so the next site we're going to go to is trend mood what is this no I, now see i can't deal with the shape of this eyeshadow palette here sd lauder no we can't we're not doing that so yeah y'all we're gonna it looks like kylie skin is coming out with some type of valentine's day launch with some lip balms but i'm definitely gonna pass on that oh, what is this profusion cosmetics okay here we go again with the odd palette now what am i gonna do with this palette is this a palette 25 shade eyeshadow i mean the thing is is that i i don't mind small amounts of shadow like the tammy tanuka one but this shape is just doing too much of not what i need it's very affordable and it's i think it's available now yep but no okay and here's something else y'all see the valentine stuff is coming heavy she glam official this is the modern love collection uh, nothing about this is drawing me in. All right, let's move on, y'all. So Makeup Craze is the last one, and then we'll be done. I think we just we just spent most of our time talking about indie today. Well, we have a couple things here, so let me move down, but not much. We have these matte cream shadows by Charlotte Tilbury. So these kind of pair with the shimmery cream ones that she has. I was considering these. Just because mm, I have two of those Rx Smoke Reflect shades and they're like these one and done looks and I really, really like them a lot. So I was thinking about these. I watched a review by Charlotte Holcroft and she was talking about how kind of stiff they were and how they don't move. They would really, I think, be a nice base for shimmers. The black one, especially, I was thinking about that for like 
when you want to take your duochrome singles and put them over a black base and they blend out really nice. So you could do like a little smoky eye situation. They're like $34 a piece though. So I'm not sure, but that uh, smoky taupe shade, that looks really nice. I haven't pushed the button on any of these. Nothing, it's not exciting or anything like that, you know? I do have some ColourPop cream shadows, so I'm wondering how those compare. I don't know. All right, we do see that KKW is rebranding. So that's just some news. Now y'all know I was definitely a fan of KKW Beauty. We will not talk about it. It looks like she's going to be coming out with skincare, hair care, nail care, supplements, home products. So I'm not even sure if this is going to be a makeup line or what, but that's just something to keep an eye out for or not. And unfortunately, we have the news about BH Cosmetics. I don't understand why they put Iggy Azalea and Doja Cat on here. Like, are you is that what's gonna make people read the article i really think it's unfortunate that bh cosmetics is filing for bankruptcy so i'm not sure what's gonna happen like with the future of bh cosmetics but i do hope that they um it says they're gonna sell its intellectual property for 4.3 million i don't know what that means but that really sucks that's really sad. I think that's it for makeup releases we did have some things to talk about i I think I covered everything. I'm hoping that I did. Oh, you know what though? There is one thing. There's one more thing. And I was so happy to see this. It's Cleona. So last year they were supposed to release a palette with someone named Emily Violet Marie and they didn't. And I remember when I did my like makeup wish list for this year, I was like, I hope Cleona comes out with this palette. Like, I don't know what happened or why it didn't release, but it is still coming. So this is a palette I am going to get. It's not single shades, it's a palette. This shade right here is a sneak peek of one of the shades in that palette. I'm not sure when it's gonna happen. I'm glad that it's still happening because I was just like, maybe it's not happening, but it looks like it is. So we will end there, you guys. I really enjoy talking about these new releases. It's like a way for me to work through my feelings. It's, it's therapeutic, like trying to stick to a budget, you know, for the most part, it's better for me to plan out the purchases. And it looks like some months will be heavier than others. Some weeks will be heavier than others as far as releases. But if I can sit down and kind of look through my collection, talk through it with you guys, we can kind of come to a, a you know, a decision about what we want to do. Are these releases unique? Do we want them? Do we ask for them? Who thought of this? Who, what, when, where, why is really good for me. And I hope it is for you. I definitely want to continue doing this. If this is something that you enjoy, I did go ahead and purchase the blend bunny dollhouse palette. After watching the reviews that I watched, I was not going to be sorry to add that palette to my collection. What really got me about that palette were the bottom two rows, especially the second to last row that was full of those deep mats. I did decide to get that and I'm proud of myself because I think that palette was released or revealed at the end of last year. So I did sit on it, you know, and that's the first palette that I've bought this year. And I know it sounds crazy, but I feel like I was buying an eyeshadow palette every week last year, seriously. Because when I think about the amount of palettes that I brought in, there's only 52 weeks in a year. And I know I brought in more than 52 palettes. Like, let's just be honest. So for me to have just bought one palette, not just, but to have bought one palette, I am really happy with myself and I do see some growth there. The second thing that I did decide to go ahead and buy, and I had a coupon, <laughs> was the NARS Afterglow Blush Palette. Now let me explain my rationale for purchasing that. And I, I think it's important for me to circle back and talk about what I've purchased, especially when I've talked about it on these purchase or passes and I'm like, I don't know, or I said no. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be fake. The reason that I went ahead and bought that palette was because there was one shade in the palette that I really felt stood out and that was exhibit a 
it's a bright red blush i don't have anything like that the other blushes in that palette i was like you know probably have some similar things i'm looking at my blush palette by melt and the other ones in my collection you know because i did just film that I'm like, mm, they're kind of dupable, so I don't know if they're special. But I mentioned the two Chanel blushes, not the ones with the stars, but the other two. I've been watching reviews of those two because I was like, damn, those look so good. From what I've seen, the brown one, Brune Rossi or whatever one that was called, it's not brown y'all it's more of a red shade oh my god i'm so mad about it and i'm so glad i did not order it because i was like oh that looks like paradise venus by pat mcgrath like i don't need that when i watch reviews on it i'm like oh hell no like no that blush is kind of a red blush and then the peach one i watched glam girl chelsea use it and she's like well i think this is going to be a highlighter and i'm like she's not that much deeper than me and that's a mess like no but anyway someone reached out to me and said if you like it was one of those blushes i think it might have been a deeper one they were like you may like the shade i think it's savage by nars so i was like oh, okay so then I looked at the Exhibit A single, which is like $30, and I looked at Savage, and then I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna wait. But then somehow I ended up looking at that blush palette again, and damn it if Savage isn't in that palette. So I was like, well, there go the two shades right there. So buying that blush palette is gonna be cheaper than me buying that one Chanel blush that isn't even the color that I thought it was. So I feel like I made out good, and then I signed up for email, so I got 15% off, so and I had Christmas money. So, you know, that was like a little Christmas gift. So I don't even know if I count that, seriously. All right, so I just wanted to tell y'all that. That's it, you guys. All right, y'all, I have taken up enough of your time. Happy Friday. I'll be back next week with another one as long as you'll have me. So thank you for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me today. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Girl.